We are excited to announce that the FDA has approved Gallium 68 PSMA11 for imaging of patients with prostate cancer. The imaging agent, PSMA11, binds to the prostate-specific membrane antigen, or PSMA, which is a protein that is overexpressed on prostate cancer cells. Here is an image of the molecule itself. One half of the molecule is a chelator, which binds to a radio metal, and in this case, gallium-68, which is how we image the molecule. The other half of the molecule is a targeting moiety, which targets PSMA, this molecule that's overexpressed in prostate cancer. After the imaging agent is injected into the patient, it binds to the prostate cancer cells, is localized, and then imaged using a PET scanner, which shows us where the radioactivity has gone. We are excited that this was a collaborative effort between UCSF and UCLA. And together, both UCSF and UCLA ran two prospective imaging studies to demonstrate the benefit of this imaging agent in patients. The FDA has approved this imaging agent in two different indications. The first, in patients at risk for metastatic disease at time of initial staging prior to definitive therapy, such as radical prostatectomy or radiation therapy, but also in the setting of biochemical recurrence after definitive therapy, as shown by a rising PSA or a positive PSA after a treatment such as radical prostatectomy or radiation therapy. This is the first imaging agent approved in the setting of initial staging which should provide additional options for patients to have better imaging studies prior to definitive therapy. We are also excited because this is a unique approval by the FDA in which all of the development for this imaging agent was done in academia. The drug was initially discovered and developed at the University of Heidelberg, and then a number of academic institutions around the world have done research studies, and then both UCSF and UCLA performed the pivotal prospective trials that led to its approval. This work would not have been able to be performed without the support and involvement of numerous physicians, including our medical oncologists, urologists, and radiation oncologists, but also a number of clinical research coordinators and chemists who helped make this happen. But most importantly, this research would not have been possible without the involvement and engagement of the patients who chose to participate in this trial. And we thank them, along with a large team of people at both UCSF and UCLA, who helped lead to the approval of this image agent, which we hope will lead to improved staging and therefore improved treatment and outcomes of patients who suffer from prostate cancer. Thank you.